Well, thank God it's Monday and time to get back to work. I gave myself a three-day weekend to work on some office kind of stuff. Uh, doing some of that paperwork that keeps you running legally. Keeps the powers that be away from me. Anyway, we just loaded up in Sumner, Texas. We're heading to Salt Lake City. Stick around. Hey, everybody, this is the Travel Man, Duna Living Stone. Would you like to be a part of the show? Send me a video via Facebook Messenger or send me a private message on Instagram. I ain't too hard to find. There's only one Dooner Livingstone on this planet. Send me a video of your truck. What you're hauling. Show me some weird ass talent you got. Whatever. Something to be a part of the show. Share your opinion. Share your thoughts. You ain't gotta be a truck driver to do it. Just whatever. You wanna be a part of the show? Send me something. I'll put you up. If I like it anyway. No masturbating. No porn. None of that kind of shit. What the fuck, Chuck? You know, traveling isn't always about knowing where you're going, what's gonna happen, but sometimes you just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. Man, look how low that trailer is. Learning new things, that's what traveling's all about. I'm back on this mud flap kick. I kind of looked at my receipts and everything and how much money I was spending going to a big truck stop. I don't know, man. You save so much money using this that I don't see any reason to go anywhere else. Like, I'm talking about, like, the places I'm... All the big places, the big truck stops. Look at this. See that? That there's the price. Without the mud flap discount here at a Maverick, which I like the Mavericks because you just punch in your little number in the kiosk here instead of go, having to go in and do all this stuff. But it's a big money saving deal, this mud flap. But man. Oh, and in this one, it's, it's kind of. Worried I was going to get hung up there, high center. Anyway, just south of Denver right now. Fueling up, I'm, uh, I'm going to be running across 70 right there. All right, I got that shit to do. Well, I ended up taking 80 instead of 70. There was a big winter storm coming through Denver that evening when I left. And uh, here I am, I'm, what, approaching the Three Sisters? In the Three Sisters? What? Anyway, trucking across 80, getting to Salt Lake City. Woo! So here we are, we made it over here to the Salt Lake City area to my drop where I'm unloading these trailers. I'm waiting on these guys to clear out some of their mess so I can back into their yard. And look here, this little guy's out here, he's gonna stop traffic for me. <laughs> look here, genius, when they see a big fucking truck clear across both sides of the freaking road, believe me, they're gonna stop. <laughs> look at him, he's like, stop. <laughs> yeah, you, you're really helping me out there, bud. Anyway. Well, you see the guy over here anyway. It, it's a good thing when you see a truck driver. Truck drivers know, they know what's going on. They give you the respect, they give you the courtesy. They're, they're making sure everybody's gonna stop. If I was a four-wheeler, who knows, who knows? They probably would have gotten right up on me and uh, you, if you're an experienced truck driver, you know this, you know what these four-wheelers do. They normally don't give you any room and you gotta be aggressive at times, like like I was here. Or, you know, it doesn't look very aggressive, but you gotta get out there and just take up the damn room. 
Put on all your lights, blinkers, flash, whatever you've got, and just jump out there and hold it up. They're going to stop. If they don't, well, um, something will stop them. I don't know. Anyway, so we're backing in here. And uh, let me tell you what the plan is here. I talked to the guy after, uh, even before this, and he's telling me what's going to happen. We're going to have forklift on each side of the, of the trailer. And this isn't abnormal. This is pretty routine just about anywhere when you got something like this or any kind of machinery. They're gonna, you'll have a forklift on each side. They'll fork it on each side, pick it up, and you drive out from underneath it. Now look, I don't know why they needed two on this side and then one on the other side. But uh, see this guy here coming around? Instead of getting in my mirror and just telling me to pull forward, he's got to come right to my door. So this tells me that a little bit of inexperience here. For one, he's the guy on the ground that should be saying how high they need to lift these things. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, old Tubby wasn't doing his job there. He should have been down there on the ground making sure nothing's gonna hit and everything is up high enough and then I can pull forward. Now look, the guys on the forklift gonna climb up, leave their seats, and look up. This old fella wasn't doing his job right. Come on, man. Nothing was hurt, nothing was damaged. Just some of their pride, I think. They seemed a little embarrassed, especially after I asked them if I could record doing this. <laughs> no harm, no foul. Good job, guys. All right, it's time to load up and head to a secret location. Taking two Connexes and a couple other things, like I said, to a secret location. Now look at these deals. These things are my twist locks. I've shown them off before, but they're gonna set these two Connex containers on top of the trailer, on top of those little locks there, and I'll twist them and they'll lock those in place. I'll throw a couple straps over just for a good measure and keep DOT off my ass, but uh, anyway. Yeah, I got this load from Nationwide Transport Services. My boy AJ works over here. He, this is the reason I came out here, out to Utah, was to get this. And I want to give a shout out to AJ, man. I appreciate the work he's gotten for me. We've become a pretty good team. It's uh, that's a good thing. I've had people tell me, you're not supposed to be friends with the enemy, man. They're the enemy. These brokers are the enemy. <laughs> Appreciate you, AJ. You ain't got to go in like you do everywhere else when you use mud flap. You give them your code. You just stand right there and punch it in at the fuel pump. You ain't got to go in there and hold anybody up. I know I'm not holding anybody up. But I see on, uh, like on social media people are starting to complain about mud flap. People using mud flap and then they're holding everybody up behind them because they got to go in and give the clerk their number and then come back out and then put them. Those are crybabies anyway, but I mean, for me, just getting out and pump, punching in the code, it's, it's just more convenient. They should do that everywhere. But all right. <laughs> I'm, I'm calling it quits on this episode.
Appreciate everybody watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'd tell you where I'm going, but then I'd have to kill you. So, see you next week.